you could use clear silicone one no problem and now it seems like it gets a little bit sticky and uh, I don't I, I, I don't trust that I think they changed their formula it's not a food based product they don't have to tell you what's in it and they don't have to tell you when they change formulas so that can mess you up so what I'm gonna do is I bought uh, five different kinds of clear silicone different types I'm gonna test each one to see how it reacts and what it does so I'm gonna go through my mixing process here all of them will get the same amount of naphtha and the same amount of silicone. So visibly already, this is by far the clearest. And it says crystal clear, it ain't lying. That is crystal clear, it's awesome. Uh, if I, I might try making icicles with it. Actually. We'll see how that sets up. them out and everyone should get the same. Now rubber cement paint, um, the instructions that I were given were to spin it five to one with naphtha. Uh, this is not quite that same amount. I'm probably 1.5 to one, but I'm gonna spray it to a very a sprayer that'll spray very thick stuff. give this one hour and then I'm gonna come back to this and I will uh, see how it is so it's actually much later than an hour later this is the next day and uh, here are all of the different silicones that I tested by fitting them um, I don't know if you guys can tell but this one here the crystal clear has a much more glossy surface so if I'm gonna make blood or slime or something that's the one I'm going to mix up for that because this is a really great glossy service and it looks really nice. Um, so this is this is definitely the one for that. Um, they all set up. All of them, all of them are, are good and dry to the touch. All of them. So uh, my fears about the formula being changed might not be as well founded. I'm going to do a little rub test now. I'm just going to go down the line this way because the side of the camera that I'm on. I'm using it for a paint. This uh, this one holds up pretty good. This is the DAP Silicone Max. Uh, I'm, I'm tr and I'm trying to rub up a section. All right, so this Crystal Clear, this other DAP, the window siding and door trim, um, this one rubbed up really fast. My first push with my thumb, it came off of this uh, plastic foam that I'm putting it on. Yeah, see, that's just going to peel right up. Really good looking stuff, nice and shiny, but it's not really adhering very well. Uh, so this is uh, silicone 2. Uh, it adheres a lot better. Yeah, it adheres, it adheres better. It's hard to rub off. Uh, silicone 1. Uh, even better. Better than the silicone 2. Okay, finally I got it to come up. The HDX. 
Yeah, um, and you know what? And this is this one actually feels the most gummy. Uh, it is set up, and I think it would be fine, but it came up really easy. So for my purposes, I'm going to go buy more of the Crystal Clear Silicone One. That's going to make a nice tough skin for my Kraken. So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, this really has a lot of potential for blood and for prop distressing, even clothing, uh, if you mix it up to the color that you want because it looks so glossy when it's finished. That's also the same one that I tested out the uh, icicle with, and I put that over here on the table. So that is it right there. Um, obviously on the inside, it wasn't quite all the way set up, so I got a little bit on my finger, but this is, what a nice crystal clear icicle. If it weren't windy, you know. Because icicles don't blow around in the wind like that. But that right there, that's nice. That's a good icicle. So, there you go.